Hi, this is Charles. I just want to talk to you about post capture. So if you click on a character and then click on post capture, um, then it'll assume the body and you can kind of just kind of pose however you want. And at the end of five seconds, whatever pose you had in VR, um, it will save as the pose to the character. So here you can see I'm going to um, uh, add a new female character and then extend the hand out to shake the hand. And then I'm going to assume the character of the male and then do the handshake here. Um, and so it's a really super simple and fast way to get some really fast poses um, because most of the expression is done in the um, position and rotation of the head and the position and rotation of the hands. So here I'm creating a new pose um, of female and she's going to hold a baby. And so you can kind of see how fast I can create a baby holding pose. Um, and in fact, I'll go in and assume the pose of the, the, the child as well, which is kind of um, funny, funny to um, assume the body of a, of a baby. It's funny. Um, anyways, so I'm here just like correcting the pose, um, making it so that um, the, the woman is looking at the baby. And now I'm here. I'm uh, making sure that the hands are in the right place, moving the, the feet around. Um, let's see. What do I do next? I don't remember. Oh, here I'm going to make a kid like uh, open his arms. I guess I put it in the wrong place, so doing it again. And you can see that when I create a pose, there's a there's a kind of mirror placed um, when I assume the pose. Now, if anything is in front of that mirror, you won't really see it, but um, I guess it doesn't really matter because you're, you'd likely be interacting with the object in front of you. Um, so here, I'm just like correcting these poses. I think in the end, um, this is just the beginning of their relationship and it'll progress as this video gets longer. Um, here, what did I want to do? Oh, I want to make a scary pose. And what's cool about this is that if you lean forward, the character actually, uh, or if you, lean, if you lean forward in VR, the character actually leans forward as well. So I'm actually standing up making these poses. Um, which is which is pretty cool. Here I'm gonna do a sassy pose, you know, um, for all that sass and stuff. Um, Sometimes, yeah. Let's see, what do I do here? Yeah, I'm, I'm not super happy with this, but whatever. It's fine. Um, I'm making a super epic mega scene here with like just tons tons of characters. Here I'm gonna make like a dancing set of characters. Um, so I'll position the, um, I'll do a pose here. I'm going to do a pose again, just so I can vary up like what my arms are going to look like. And then I'll make a guy in here and he'll do some sort of whatever cool guy pose. Um, let's see, what do I do next? Move this guy a little closer. Um, let's see. What do I do here? Okay, so I think here I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show sort of bad posture. So I'm actually, I captured and I, um, and I, and I actually stood like that. Now I think I bend down even more. Um, this first sort of cartoony, exaggerated effect. Um, and here I'm going to, oh, here I'm gonna have a guy sit in a chair, which, shows um, basically that you can really quickly pose a character sitting in a chair and then um, do pose capture to get where that character is going to look and where the hands are roughly. So I roughly put my hands on the, the sides of the chair and then um, looked where I wanted to look. Um, I think I'm going to change it so that um, I'm going to make this guy so he's going to be looking at um, this other guy over here, or this girl, I changed it to a girl now. Um, so she's gonna look at him and he's gonna look at her. And that's, uh, that's, that's a, like a really super easy way to get um, characters to look at each other, which is quite, quite nice. Um, 
let's see, I'm correcting the, the hand positions there. I'm gonna make this guy look a little bit more creepy um, with his sort of bent over posture. Here, here I am in mini mode, just taking a look at the whole scene here. Um, I'm dragging this camera around so I can place it. Place a camera behind here and uh, I'll create another camera and then place it behind the chair. Um, sort of violates the line of action, but um, that's okay. Now here I've tried to like see if I can get them to kiss by posing them. And so you can, <laughs> it's kind of weird, but it actually does work. Um, I just go in and modify it a little bit um, so that um, I guess I realize at this point that they probably shouldn't be um, holding hands like that, but maybe, who knows. Um, but I, I, I basically go in and correct the rotation of their heads so it doesn't look so awkward. I'll move his hand around her um, back and reposition her head so it doesn't look so so much like they're um, inter intersecting with each other. Move this guy in forward. Um, place a camera here. See what else do I do? Um, place a camera over here with a wider angle lens. Um, and I think next I what do I do next? Oh, I create a character that kind of has like a like a I don't know praise Jesus sign or something like that, and. Um, Let's see, widen his stance, make a move. Um, oh, here, I, here I'm going to do something interesting, like interaction with objects. I wish I did more of that in this video, but uh, essentially, like, I want to make this guy lean over and, like, touch the, the table like that, um, which was pretty cool because that's exactly how I um, posed it in real life. And then I'm going to... Um, duplicate this guy and have another guy say like stop um, with his hands like stop and then um, I'm gonna bring him down a little bit and um, change the position of his feet so it's like not so um, bent out of gravity and um, yeah that's about it that's the that's this whole scene that I that I boarded in about um, I don't know, I guess like 15, 15 minutes or so, which was great. Anyways, um, thanks so much. Bye.